Hello to all of you, this is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we'll try to understand how to optimize linear regression models in RapidMind. Basically, it is also known as a feature selection. When we carry out regression analysis, when we are having one dependent variable and many independent variables, make sure that both dependent and independent variable they are running in continuous scale. The basic assumption here is that the relationship between the dependent variable and the independent variable is linear. First of all, let us bring the data set, empty cars. I'll connect this plank with the output window. I'll press the play button. You can see here the model of the car is given, miles per gallon is given, number of cylinders, displacement, horsepower, D-rate, weight of the vehicle is given, q -sec. Vertical and straight engine, automatic and manual car is given. Number of gears, number of car weight. Now this operator contains all the variables. It is not necessary that all these variables are matter of my interest. And therefore, I'll go in select attributes. And I'll drop it here. Make sure that operator is on. I'll subset it, select the attribute. And I'll only select the variables which are matter of my interest. So weight, VS, miles per gallon, horsepower, gear. Let us take uh, displacement of the vehicle and the carburetor also. Insert, apply. Now I'll set the role. Basically, role setting means I'll have to specify which is my dependent variable and which is my independent variable. So here, I'll specify my miles per gallon is a dependent variable. Make sure that the target rule is labeled. Target rule is labeled. It means that it is a dependent variable which is labeled. Now, the features for feature selection, we'll have to activate the operator which is known as forward selection. Basically, it means that all the variables which are insignificant will be dropped one by one. Now you can see here, any operator, if it is having two layers, it means that it is a parent process as well as a child process. Now double click on it. So you will enter into the child process. Here, you split the data. Into training and testing data set. Again, activate the linear regression. Drag it and drop it here. Connect the spline. Apply the model. Drag it and drop it here. Connect this spline to this spline. No, wait a minute. From model to model and bar to unlimited. It is giving me a warning that it is not able to fetch the details from the previous operator. No need to worry. Again, double click on it. And we have not specified that we want to split the data in what proportion. Add the entry 0.7, add the entry 0.3. OK. Now, activate the performance of the regression. Keep it here. Connect label with label, performance with performance. Press the up arrow and come into the parent process. Once you are in the parent process, you will have to again connect the splines. So here, the attribute weights is to be connected with the result way, result window. And the performance is again to be connected with the result. Now, simply press the play button. You'll get the root mean square error. The description, the annotations. The interesting feature which you will get is attribute weight. Now you'll have to see here all those attributes which has been given one. They are matter of interest or rather they are affecting the model. So weight and displacement has been selected. Weight and displacement has been selected. 
Now, if you want to see the results also of regression analysis, you will have to connect one more operator. And how you can do this? Let us see. Go here, regression, and tick in the parent process, not in the child process, parent process. And there is one node which is empty. Pass it on the training and give the output to the model. So now when you will run it again, you will be able to see the model also, the performance vector also, as well as the attribute weight also. Now, again, I go in the forward selection, or rather selecting the attributes, and I'll drop the carburetor from here, and let us see the result. You can see only displacement and weight. Let us see nice two attributes. Only displacement and weight are significant, but your linear regression is, yeah, lean, displacement and weight are significant, right? Let me go back. And this time, in selecting the attributes, I'll remove displacement also. Let us keep gear, HP, MPG, VS also I'm removing, apply, and run. You have to do this when your regression analysis are in the confirmation with the attribute weight. You can see all of them are 111, but still, your regression laser result is showing that the gear is insignificant. No need to worry. Again, go in design, selecting the attributes. So you'll have to repeat this process till the point when your regression analysis is in sync with the attribute weights. HP and weight is significant. Attribute weights, one, 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 done. It means that this model is the optimized model parameters are optimized. For more videos on Rapid Miner, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please see my playlist for the previous videos on Rapid Miner. Thank you.